whore, 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 whore. H O nine nine O nine. That's not that's not how you say it, okay? Fuck. Don't punch me, OGM, okay? What is up, internet? I'm gonna be doing a comprehensive review of horrors live concert that I went to recently. Hopefully this review will give you an idea of who is the perfect audience to go see horror if you haven't seen a horror concert. Maybe why you should go, why you shouldn't go, some criticisms I personally have of the live event, which will include the merchandise on sale, the audience reaction, and just the stage stuff, stuff, stuff going on, okay? Let's get into this shit, okay? Let me preference this by saying that I have my own personal biases and I am a horror fan, okay? Besides that, let me begin by saying that horror began their set with their song, Master of Pain, parentheses, error, from their 2019 album, Cyber Warfare. Personally, it's a great song. I thought it was a great introduction as the creepy piano slash synth sounds helped to bring the audience a bit alive because they were the opening act. If you didn't know, I went to the NotFest 2022 Roadshow. They were the opening act, like I said, and the unfortunate fact is as the opening act, most people will either not know who you are or they will skip over you because they're there to see Slipknot or Cypress Hill, which is understandable, right? Personally, when I go to concerts, I like to see all the artists because I think that you have the opportunity to see new music. Some people don't think like that, that's fine. So as the unfortunate fact, as the opening act, like I said, they were only given a 30 to 40 minute set. So in that 30 to 40 minutes, I need to begin by saying that they were quite passionate and energetic when it came to their stage presence. You know, we had Eddie jumping around all over stage, screaming, the OGM getting involved too. You know, when it comes to the live performance aspect of this concert, I have to say that as someone who's watched plenty of fucking videos of horror from their prior tours, success, for example, the one that they just finished up with Nate No Face a couple months ago, or any festivals that they've done in the past few 10 years or so that they've been active, I have to say that the commonality that all of these concerts have is that these motherfuckers are chaotic on stage. And it's that they're also constantly putting every bit of energy they have into their performance so if you've ever get the chance to see them expect a fucking chaotic manic mess on stage there's some issues in this set though i need to begin by saying that i found it quite odd that they didn't play any of their united states of horror songs any of their hits from that album you know war is hell knuckle up these songs that have over a million plays on spotify i thought would be great for them to perform in front of a new audience of people who've never seen them but oddly they did not they did play batteries not included which is a great hit song from their new album skin but i would have preferred that they performed some united states of horror songs only because it would benefit them as it could draw in more of an audience that's a complaint i have when it comes to their set list now, let's get into the merchandise that they were selling. At the stand, they were selling a myriad of Slipknot merchandise. You had some Cypress Hill stuff, jackets, stuff from their new album, tie-dye stuff, usual. And then you had the horror merchandise. And I understand as the opening act, you're not expected to have a lot of merchandise. We had one original shirt, which is the one I'm wearing right now. Here's a picture on the screen. This is what it is. It's a skin shirt, which is from, you know, their new album, like I brought up, that came out this year. And then everything else was what you can find online. Keep in mind that the shirt that they had on sale was this plain black shirt, the hat, and then some stickers. Why do I find this to be an issue? I genuinely believe that it was a missed opportunity to them because the selection they had was quite lacking. And I understand to some it might be just because they're the opening act, but I believe that they should have put more thought into their designs. 
I think that this skin shirt is great. It looks cool, right? But the black horror logo, it's kind of lame. I have to say it, it's kind of lame. Some people might say it's clean. For 40 bucks, I don't know guys, 40 bucks for that shirt, it's not worth it. Now, I need to get into who might like horror. Who might like horror? Now, if I had to begin by defining what horror's genre is, I would have to describe them as rap punk, mixture of hip hop, you know, from their United States of Horror album from 2017, they have a song like Feels Like Interlude if you're really into hip hop. And then you have songs like War Is Hell or Knuckle Up, which are more traditional hardcore punk songs. But I think in most times you'll see that they will, you know, mix these two genres together. And I've, I had to describe a perfect audience for them. I would say City Morgue fans, if you're a City Morgue fan, Ghost Main, Suicide Boys, Little Darky, and even old XXX and Ski Mask songs. You know, these hyper, these transgressive songs that have a lot of energy, anger within them. You know what I mean? I think horror is the perfect band if you're into that stuff. And if you're into like older hardcore punk, like Reagan Youth, Black Flag, Bad Brains, you know, these hardcore band staples from the early 80s, then I think that they're also a perfect band for you to go see. When it comes to the audience though, I have to say that as the opening act, most people were coming to see Slipknot, so we didn't get to see much of an audience presence. Though their set was quite great, in some instances it felt like the audience was not reacting to them very well. Some of the times they were quite quiet. And after most songs you had a nice applause which showed that people were enjoying the show. But for the first few songs you didn't see much of a mosh pit until towards the end. Here's some footage. <laughs> There was a bit of a mosh pit in the front section, but towards the back in the lawn, there was no mosh pits, unfortunately, which I expected there to be some, but there wasn't. I think that the audience was engaged enough to clap and enjoy the set, but not engaged enough to like scream or go fucking, uh, go into the pit. But I think that's more of a byproduct of them being the opening act, so I'll waive that one is not really a category to rank them on. I do believe though that on their own tours, like what they did with Nate No Face for their North American tour, I, I would expect that they probably had some crazy ass pits, which I wish I could have gotten into, but they didn't come to my city, unfortunately. This basically wraps up my review. If I had to review this concert out of 26 sweaty men, I would have to put it somewhere between 17 and 16 out of 26, only because the merch was lacking, the set list could have been much better, and the audience engagement wasn't really there, but I kind of waived that. So I would say that it you're getting a 17 out of 26. If you watch this review and you learn something, like it, subscribe.